And welcome to the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm sure you're keen to get into that hot seat, so let's get started. Okay, let's take a quick check on the rules. Up to four of you can play the game, and each of you will need to choose adult or junior questions. Then, for the first time ever, you'll be able to choose the type of questions you'd like to answer. There are three categories. General knowledge, entertainment, and sport. Simply choose one and stick with it. All you need is answer the 15 questions that stand between you and a virtual one million pounds. As always, you can walk away at any time and there are the usual three lifelines available to you. Ask the audience, 50-50, and phone a friend. If you make it all the way to a million, you could be jetting off on a luxurious family holiday by entering our competition. So grab your remote control and let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Select the difficulty and category of questions you'd like to play. Sir, you want to answer the traditional general knowledge questions. Good choice. Let's see how far up the money tree you can go, starting with five questions to get you up to £1,000. Let's kick things off with a £100 question. That's right, for £100. £200 if you can get this right. Well done, that's the right answer. Now, you've not used any lifelines, so they are still all available if you need them on this £300 question. Well done, you've won £300. Let's get you up to £500 with question number four. Very well played, that's the right answer. You can guarantee yourself £1,000 if you can answer this question. Well done, you've made it to the first milestone. That's what I like to see, five correct answers and £1,000 safely in the bank. This is where things hot up a little bit, though, as we try and turn that £1,000 into at least 32000 Here comes question number six. Now, remember, you still have all three lifelines remaining. You had £1,000. You just won £2,000. It's the correct answer. Well played. Very well done. You've yet to touch any of your three lifelines and a correct answer here will win you £4,000. Lots of luck. Here comes the question. You've just won £4,000. Well done. On a light games like this, you're on £4,000 and you have all three of your lifelines still intact. You are just three questions away from the next milestone. And the first of those questions is worth £8,000 and is coming up now. Are you sure you want to play this question? If this is wrong, you lose £3,000. 
but it's not wrong. You just won 8,000. OK, things are getting a little bit more serious now. £16,000 is a lot of money. And that's how much you can win by giving me the right answer to question number nine. The drop, if you get this wrong, though, has gone up to 7,000. So think carefully before you give me an answer. Aha! Audience, time for you to get involved and help win us a bit of cash. Have a look at the question and vote A, B, C or D on your keypads. All vote now. Well, it looks like B is the popular choice of the audience. You asked for their advice. Are you now going to use it? I have to ask you if that is your final answer. You're right. You've just won £16,000. Right, this is a very serious moment. You have £16,000. If you do get the next question right, you'll definitely be leaving with no less than £32,000. Give me a wrong answer, though, and you have to take a drop of 15000 Not good. I really do wish you the very best of luck. Here comes question number 10. OK, let's see if going 50-50 will help. The computer is going to take away two wrong answers and leave you with just the two to choose. Are you sure you want to risk all that money? Has the 50-50 helped you win £32,000? It certainly has. Well played. So, you must be feeling pretty pleased with yourself, and rightly so. 32000 is now the very least amount you'll be leaving the game with. And we'd love you to turn that into £64,000. You can do that by giving me the correct answer to this next question. You still have one lifeline available should you need it. Lots of luck. Here it comes. You had £32,000, you had nothing to lose going for this question. As it turns out, you had everything to gain. It's the right answer. You just won £64,000. Right, things are going really well. Amazing how quickly you can turn £32,000 into £64,000. But let's just calm down a bit. The next question is worth £100,000 and £25,000, a huge amount of money. You do not have to play this question, but you've still got a phone a friend lifeline available should you need it. Here we go, the very best of luck. Well, there's no going back from this point. You've given me your final answer. I'm ripping up your virtual check for £64,000 and replacing it with one for... £125,000. It's the right answer. Did you really think when you started out that you get to the point where I would be asking you a question for £250,000? Probably not, but it is about to happen. Please, please do not give me a wrong answer and phone a friend if you aren't totally sure of your answer. Let's see what happens as we look at question number 12. You're playing for very big money here, so is that your final answer? You could be about to become a quarter of a millionaire, or of course you could be about to lose 93,000 pounds. You've just given me the right answer. Terrific. You could now go all the way.
Well, things are still going very well indeed. You just keep giving me the right answer and I keep handing you bigger and bigger and bigger sums of money. I do have even more money that I could give you, starting with a virtual check for £500,000. But only if you can answer this next question. I must say, I love it when people play these big questions. You had £250,000. You now have £500,000. Fantastic! Well, I'm not sure I've ever asked someone the million pound question without them having already used up all of their lifelines, but you do now have a real chance to take out the million. And you might as well take advantage of the lifeline situation, even if you are sure you know the answer. Let's hope in just a few moments time, we will all be celebrating. Here comes your 15th and final question. Which of these English kings belonged to the House of Tudor? Edward III, Edward IV, Edward V, Edward VI. You need a bit of help from one of your friends then. No problem. Could be a good move. Pick somebody to help you out. Uh, I'll have to guess at this one. D is probably the answer I'll go for. I can't say it's going to be right though. Well, that was a little bit confusing, but I think they were trying to push you towards answer D. It's your decision though. Don't forget, you do not have to play this question. And I have to check that you are really going to play this question. Is this your final answer? Amazingly, you have decided to play the million pound question. Now, you could have walked away with half a million pounds, but instead you are walking away with one million pounds. You're a winner, fantastically well done. Not only have you won a million, You've also got the chance to enter a draw to win a fantastic, all-expensive-paid family holiday. Just text the winning code to the number on your screen. Very well done, and thanks for playing the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire?